Hi guys, I'm going to do a video as fast as I can, which is how to migrate a SiteGround website into a new URL. So a lot of people in the comments have been asking, okay, I understand that you can transfer an entire site into a brand new domain name or URL. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you right now. It's very easy with SiteGround. There's a plugin involved, straightforward, no, nothing technical at all about it. So we'll get straight into it. First thing you need to do is you need to go over to your domain name provider. So I use GoDaddy personally. Um, and then you come into the settings, which is right here. So you go to your URL. So I'm, I'm doing this one, newcastlecleaner.com.au. And I want to migrate an existing site because I want to use that theme. I want to use that template. It seems to work. It's really good. It's optimized for SEO. All I need to do is go in, basically change a few things, and then I should be able to start ranking for this site faster. Uh, if I went from scratch and started building, it takes a lot of time. So that's why migrating a website is really effective. So what you need to do is you need to point your DNS or your name servers over to your website hosting and as I said I'm with SiteGround so as you can see here you scroll down to your name servers and these are the name servers that my hosting has so that's the first thing you need to do is point your name servers to your hosting okay so now that I've done that and everything's connected what I need to do is I need to go over to my SiteGround hosting and start doing a migration so let's go back over Here's a lot of the websites that I've started to do. They're Newcastle based websites, but you come here and you click brand new website and you choose existing domain because unless you're buying the URL within your hosting, nothing needs to be done really. Uh, but most people uh, will be buying their URLs and domain names from crazy domains or GoDaddy or Namecheap or something like that. So if you're doing it that way, you come through to existing domain because we've already purchased it. Now, what I do is I paste in my URL. That's definitely not the right one. So come back to my GoDaddy and that's the URL there. So I control C that and then I paste it into here and then click continue. I won't explain the other ones because this is just a tutorial on how to do this. So you've got two options here, start from scratch, which we're not doing, or migrate the website, which is transfer an existing project. So we need to migrate this website and uh, that's the third option, which is creating a shell. Uh, but this is the fastest one. And then super fast, okay, I said fast, super fast WordPress, auto migration, that sounds amazing, or transfer by your team. No, let's choose this one, it's fast and it's free, and I agree, it absolutely is. Now, we don't need any of this stuff, so we'll just click finish. Okay, now create your site, takes a little bit of time, probably a minute. Um, some servers take a little bit slower, depending on your internet connection. Uh, however, once it's done, we'll get to the next steps. Okay, so now that it says that we're all set, what we need to do here is we need to download the plugin. So this will be a WordPress plugin. So download that, goes down into your little uh, saved folder on your computer. And then here, get migration token and you just need to press copy. Okay, success, it's been copied. And then you go over to your site tools to basically control everything that you need to control within the website. So we'll click on this and it'll take us through to our control panel. And it's just loading up right now. Okay, so as you can see, the page is loaded up. You can see this is the brand new website and this is where we are. Uh, this is basically our dashboard. And then you can scroll down and you can see here, as I said before about your uh, name servers, these are my name servers. So I know that they're connected now, which is fantastic. If they're not connected, you will get an error here, which basically tells you that you need to go over back over to your domain um, name provider and enter in the name servers. So what we need to do now is we need to go over to a website that we basically want to replicate and then grab a paste in the code once that plugin's been installed on that website. 
So it's it's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit of a mind <laughs> puzzle. It's taken me a few goes to, to be like, okay, do I put the plugin into that website or into the new website? So basically we're going to go to a website we currently have and we're going to migrate that website over to the new one just by using that code that we copied before. Now, as I said, the reason you would do this is to just save a lot of time. So let's go over. We will click change and we can find a website that we want to basically choose. That is a WordPress theme. Um, I'm just going through them. This is off the cuff. I'm just going through them right now. Let's, uh, let's choose this one. I'm going to choose this one because I created this website the other day and it uses an Elementor theme and I have a pro subscription for Elementor. If you don't, there are free themes. That was a tongue twister. Free themes that you can use that will basically do the job to get this website up. But let's go with Fort Motorsports because as I said, created it the other day so I know exactly what it is. Super lightweight and a super easy theme editor. Um, I absolutely love this uh, Elementor. So basically here we want to go to install and manage and when you come through to here you can log into your existing website so i'll log in okay and that's but because you're logged into your site ground it's just one click and you as we can see we're back in the back end here so what we need to do is we need to add this plugin so go to plugins and add new Okay, this website's not complete either. Um, it's kind of lingering. We'll just have a look at it first so then you can see what it is. So in my opinion, it's not a beautiful looking website yet. Uh, it's got a video there. It's got a little bit here. It's got the driver here, a couple more drivers there. So what I want is just basic. It's a basic theme. It's super lightweight and it's fast. So what I'll do is I'll move back to here. And with that plugin, that you have, you just need to click here, upload plugin. You drag the plugin and drop it right there. And once you see this SiteGround migrator right here, you just need to install now. And then you wait for this to install. Um, shouldn't take too long. I don't, I don't know why it hasn't loaded up yet, but um, that's what you need to do. You just need to click there and then installing, installing. It's already installed. So that's amazing. <laughs> Didn't even know. I'll cancel and I'll go back, but generally if it installs, what you'll do is you just need to come over to the actual plugin and I'll just move my head for a little bit. Okay, it's not there. Where is this plugin? Okay, so it was already installed, but it wasn't activated. So basically come through and I'll activate this, which you'll have to do once you install it anyway. So you'll be following the same process, might just look a little bit different. It actually will look a little bit different. So now that that's activated, the migrator comes up here. So just click on that SG migrator. And now we have the migration token that we just need to paste in. So hold on to that. Don't copy and paste anything else. There's no reason for you to. Don't get sidetracked and go off and do something else. Paste in the migrator and then start the migration. So click the plus button and it'll come back in a second. Okay, so what it's telling us now is that the site domain to be changed to newcastlecleaner.com.au, that's completely fine. So we want to continue. And then what this does just takes a little bit of time to propagate um, the new website and we'll come back to you soon. As you can see, it's starting to load. Okay, so what it's saying now is that the file download is completed and it's starting the migration. So all of the files seem to be in place and now it's starting the migration. That took about two minutes, I'd say. Uh, it's a small website. A bigger website would take a lot longer. However, it's definitely the fastest way to still do it. So looks like there's a little bit of room there to wriggle. So I will come back to you once that has finished. Okay, so the data transfer has complete, which is awesome. 
uh, it took about another minute from when I stopped the video last. So we have set up a temporary URL valid for 48 hours where you can check whether the website looks and performs as expected. Once you confirm everything is okay, don't forget to point your DNS, obviously your domain to the new server in order to complete the migration. Using name service below, DNS propagation may take 48 hours. So that is awesome. Here is the temporary URL. I don't want to leave this page. I never do. I always want to make sure that um, everything's all good on the other end. So let's check this temporary D URL and I'll open this in a new tab. Now I'll come over to the new tab here. As you can see, it's definitely a temporary URL, but it's the same website. That is magic. So I've got here Newcastle Cleaner URL up. Let's refresh that and see if it has propagated already. I'm not sure if it, ha it has. Oh my goodness. So that is amazing. I'm going to do this with every single site that I've just built and bought. And um, that is how you do it. So I don't think I have to go back on anything right now. Newcastle Cleaner, it's all here. If I uh, refresh this, I'd say that my website will be in the install and manage section. And there it is. So now I can log in from here nice and fast. If I wanted to add any of these gateways, I can. I know that the migrator was working and there is my URL. So I'm going to do this three or four more times with those other URLs and then I'll go in and I will basically edit each of those to reflect the keywords that I want to rank for on the Google web. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. I do um, try to do about two or three videos a week. However, lately I haven't, but let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer them. I always answer your questions. Thanks for watching.